the preeminent model that currently stands as our best understanding for the evolutionary trajectory of the universe is encapsulated by the concept of the Big Bang. According to this intricate framework, the universe burgeoned forth from an initial state of infinitesimal density and extreme heat, a complex amalgamation of space-time, matter, and energy. This cosmic genesis set in motion the expansive journey of space-time, ultimately giving rise to the vast array of celestial phenomena that populate our cosmic tapestry, from galaxies and planets to the intricate tapestry of life itself. While the Big Bang stands as a monumental and awe-inspiring idea, it beckons us to grapple with an array of intricate details, spanning from the universe's nascent moments, specifically, a mere one zillionth of a second after the initiation of expansion, to the cosmic tableau we currently observe, a staggering 13.8 billion years hence. The cosmic narrative takes a particularly intriguing turn when we confront the enigma of the universe's illumination. The epochal transition from primordial darkness to the luminous tapestry we now perceive has long piqued the curiosity of astronomers and cosmologists alike. A pivotal moment in unraveling this cosmic mystery unfolded when James Webb, armed with cutting-edge technology, gazed back in time to capture the sharpest data to date of the cosmic dawn, an epoch that encapsulates the universe's inaugural billion years. The revelations offered by James Webb's cosmic gaze have cast a radiant light upon one of the universe's most profound mysteries, the period of reionization. Venturing further into the cosmic inquiry, the quest to understand what lights up the universe beckons us to explore the nuanced interplay of wavelengths. At the cosmic forefront of illumination lies the cosmic microwave background, an enduring remnant of the primordial radiation birthed by the Big Bang itself. During the universe's infancy, this radiation was intricately interwoven with the plasma of ionized nuclei and free electrons. However, a cosmic turning point occurred when neutral atoms emerged less than half a million years post-Big Bang, allowing the cosmic radiation to traverse freely amidst a burgeoning sea of atoms. The key to understanding this cosmic ballet lies in the discerning consideration of wavelength dynamics. The low energy of the cosmic radiation, predominantly manifesting as infrared light, empowers it to traverse the spatial realm occupied by neutral atoms. This cosmic phenomenon allows the radiation to circumvent the typical impediments presented by neutral atoms at visible and ultraviolet wavelengths, a characteristic that permeates not only the early epochs of the universe but also persists as a cosmic constant in contemporary times. Even within the expanse of our own galactic abode, the Milky Way, celestial objects residing at its galactic center remain shrouded in the veil of visible light obscuring dust and gas, while the longer wavelengths of infrared light effortlessly traverse the neutral atom-laden space. The cosmic theater further unravels its mysteries when we delve into the elemental composition of the universe and the energy dynamics governing its luminous metamorphosis. Hydrogen, constituting over 90% of the universe's atoms, emerges as the predominant player in this cosmic narrative. The transition between atoms remaining neutral and absorbing visible light or undergoing ionization, rendering them transparent to our visual perception, is intricately entwined with the energy of the radiation striking them embarking on an exploration of the cosmos at this level of granularity reveals that stars, those radiant beacons of cosmic creation, play a pivotal role in this luminous cosmic orchestration. The temperature and mass of stars become critical determinants in the emission of ionizing ultraviolet light, a phenomenon that triggers the ionization of nearby neutral atoms. As we peer into the depths of cosmic history, a salient feature emerges, the most common atom in the universe, hydrogen, demands a photon of 13.6 electron volts or more for ionization in its lowest energy state. The nuanced interplay of photon energy, star temperature, an ionization threshold dictates the fate of hydrogen atoms throughout cosmic epochs. Intriguingly, this cosmic saga finds resonance not only in the early epochs of the universe but also resonates in the contemporary cosmic tableau. Stars, especially those that materialize in the early annals of cosmic history, manifest as colossal and fervently hot entities. These early stellar progenitors, endowed with mass tens, hundreds, or even thousands of times greater than our own sun, radiate with surface temperatures reaching tens or even hundreds of thousands of degrees. The brilliance emanating from these cosmic behemoths surpasses that of our sun by millions of times, posing a formidable threat to the continuity of neutral atoms scattered across the cosmic expanse. This intricate interplay of cosmic dynamics, from the inception of the universe to the present cosmic epoch, illuminates the ongoing narrative of cosmic evolution. The journey from primordial darkness to cosmic illumination, 
intricately woven with the dance of wavelengths, the cosmic microwave background, and the ionitation ballet orchestrated by stellar luminaries, invites us to contemplate the cosmic theater in all its grandeur and complexity. As we traverse the cosmic landscape, the insights garnered by James Webb stand as a testament to our relentless pursuit of unraveling the oldest secrets of the universe, beckoning us to embrace the boundless wonders that continue to unfold in the cosmic tapestry that envelops us contemplating a hypothetical scenario wherein every atom dispersed throughout the vast cosmic tapestry undergoes ionitation. We delve into the profound implications for the interstellar realms devoid of stars. In this envisioned cosmic expanse, bathed in the absence of stellar luminosity, the fabric of space would transform into a translucent medium, allowing unimpeded transmission of light. Such a transformative state would seemingly grant humanity the unprecedented ability to gaze across the cosmic abyss without the interference of celestial bodies. The emitted radiance from distant stars, unencumbered by the prospect of absorption or extinction, would traverse the cosmic expanse until it encounters the metaphorical eyes of an intrepid cosmic observer. However, within the intricacies of this cosmic ballet, a caveat emerges, as long as a minute percentage of atoms persists in a neutral state, the emitted starlight faces the prospect of effective absorption. This caveat poses a formidable challenge to the aspiration of deciphering the cosmic narrative from the epoch of the first stars and galaxies. The nuanced interplay between ionized and neutral matter within this cosmic symphony serves as a testament to the delicate equilibrium that governs the cosmic tableau. The cosmic drama unfolds further as we grapple with the notion that a diminishing percentage of neutral atoms necessitate starlight to traverse larger numbers of them for complete absorption. This intricate dance of cosmic extinction, cumulative in its essence, underscores the need for a specific cosmic phenomenon to unfold. To usher in an era where the universe becomes truly transparent to starlight, a monumental influx of star formation must unfold, inundating the cosmic expanses with a profusion of ultraviolet photons. These photons, wielding the power to ionize the neutral matter prevalent in the intergalactic medium, serve as cosmic harbingers, paving the way for the unhindered transmission of starlight across the cosmic landscape. However, the realization of this cosmic metamorphosis comes with its set of challenges, chief among them the need for an extensive and expeditious occurrence of star formation. The delicate cosmic balance hinges on the prevention of ionized protons and electrons from recombining, a process that could stymie the envisioned cosmic transparency. The inaugural stars in the universe, while making a modest impact on the surrounding neutral atom population, bear the limitation of their transient existence. As we navigate the cosmic epochs, the emergence of the second generation of stars introduces a complex interplay of cosmic dynamics. These stars, forming in clumps and clusters, possess only a fraction of the mass and numbers found in the Milky Way, rendering their influence inconsequential in altering the predominantly neutral nature of the cosmos. The cosmic landscape undergoes a perceptible shift when these star clusters merge, heralding the formation of the initial galaxies. This celestial convergence triggers a profound burst of star formation, illuminating the universe in an unprecedented manner yet, within the cosmic orchestration, the process of reionization unfolds unevenly, charting a varied course across the cosmic canvas. This unevenness introduces a layer of complexity, leading to an asynchronous completion of reionization in different cosmic locales. On average, the temporal unfolding of this cosmic transformation takes approximately 550 million years from the inception of the Big Bang, marking the universe's transition to a state transparent to starlight. This temporal revelation is gleaned from the meticulous observation of ultra-distant quasars and galaxies, serving as cosmic time capsules, delving into the cosmic archaeology, the discovery of a galaxy like GNZ-11 by the Hubble telescope offers a tantalizing glimpse into a cosmic era predating the completion of reionization. Emitting light merely 407 million years after the Big Bang, this celestial relic beckons us to peer into the cosmic infancy, capturing moments preceding the establishment of cosmic transparency. However, the quest for unraveling cosmic secrets encounters a quantum leap with the advent of James Webb, an advanced telescope poised to surpass the observational capabilities of its predecessor, Hubble. James Webb, with its technological prowess and infrared sensitivity, unveils galaxies that elude visible light observations. In the cosmic repertoire, James Webb's capabilities stand as a testament to the evolving synergy between technological innovation and cosmic exploration. The telescope's sensitivity to longer wavelength infrared light emerges as a transformative tool, facilitating the detection of cosmic features challenging for neutral atoms to absorb. 
This cosmic revelation illuminates the universe effectively at longer wavelengths, providing a vista concealed from visible light observations, infrared observations, becoming the linchpin in the cosmic quest, emerge as an indispensable tool to probe the epic of reionization at extreme cosmic distances. The absence of galaxy clusters and the initial galaxies in the early cosmic epochs, estimated to take shape between 200 and 250 million years post-Big Bang, remains veiled through visible light observations alone. Yet, through the lens of an infrared observatory, where light extends to wavelengths not absorbed by neutral atoms, the potential for starlight to penetrate the cosmic veil becomes a tantalizing possibility the cosmic saga extends further, as the revelation achieved through the joint efforts of James Webb and its infrared capabilities beckons us to traverse the depths of cosmic history. The earliest secrets of the universe, intricately woven into the fabric of space-time, unfold in unprecedented detail. As we embark on this cosmic odyssey, the profound impact of the light emanating from the earliest era of stars and galaxies assumes a cosmic role of paramount importance, the role of rendering the universe transparent to all wavelengths of starlight. The ultraviolet light, a product of the first stars, assumes the mantle of a cosmic alchemist, ionizing the matter in its cosmic vicinity. This ionization enables visible light to traverse ever greater cosmic distances, marking a progression akin to the rhythmic undulations of a cosmic heartbeat. The scattering of visible light in all directions unfolds as a cosmic ballet, a prelude to the eventual triumph of reionization that allows our best telescopes to capture the cosmic symphony in its entirety yet, the cosmic narrative acquires a nuanced layer of complexity with the emergence of infrared light, another cosmic emissary born in the celestial forges of stellar birth. This infrared light, permeating even the neutral matter scattered across the cosmic expanse, emerges as a cosmic storyteller with a unique ability to traverse the cosmic landscape. Infrared observatories, armed with the capability to detect features invisible to visible light observations, become the heralds of a cosmic revelation hitherto concealed. As we ponder the intricacies of cosmic transparency, the breakthrough achieved by James Webb underscores the symbiotic relationship between technology and cosmic inquiry. The telescope's specific design to operate in the near and mid-infrared portion of the spectrum, reaching wavelengths of 30 microns, 50 times longer than those visible to the human eye, aligns with the imperative of uncovering the cosmic secrets veiled in the unseen realms. As of the conclusion of 2023, James Webb stands as the vanguard of cosmic exploration, with nine out of the top ten known galaxies bearing its indelible imprint. GNZ-11, a celestial beacon from the cosmic dawn, remains the sole confirmed galaxy not necessitating further confirmation by the Webb telescope. The light emanating from the earliest era of stars and galaxies plays a cosmic symphony whose importance cannot be overstated, a symphony resonating across the cosmic expanse, rendering the universe transparent to all wavelengths of starlight. In the cosmic panorama, the ultraviolet light, the harbinger of ionitation, works in tandem with the earliest stars to etch the cosmic narrative on the celestial canvas. This intricate interplay facilitates the progression of visible light farther into the cosmic abyss as the ionitation fraction increases. The cosmic vista, characterized by the scattering of visible light, serves as a cosmic precursor to the eventual triumph of reionization, enabling our best telescopes to peer into the cosmic mists yet, the cosmic revelation unfolds in a multispectral tapestry, with infrared light assuming a pivotal role in unraveling the cosmic secrets. Infrared light, birthed by the cosmic behemoths, pierces through the neutral matter, offering a celestial window into the unseen realms. The cosmic ballet, choreographed by the interplay of ultraviolet and infrared light, unfolds as a cosmic odyssey, inviting us to contemplate the profound mysteries embedded in the cosmic tapestry. The quest for cosmic truths encounters a transformative juncture with the advent of James Webb, an instrument finely tuned to explore the cosmic realms in near and mid-infrared wavelengths. In this cosmic frontier, where the unseen holds the key to unraveling the cosmic narrative, James Webb emerges as the torchbearer of cosmic exploration. The James Webb Space Telescope's breakthroughs, driven by its sensitivity to longer wavelength infrared light up to 30 microns, unveil cosmic secrets and mark a new era in exploration. Its infrared capabilities expose the topographical intricacies of cosmic structures, positioning James Webb at the forefront of cosmic observation. From the ultraviolet ionization of matter to the cosmic dance of visible and infrared light, the telescope captures the essence of cosmic epochs. In just 21 months, it has shattered records, revealing the influential role of ultrafaint dwarf galaxies in reionization. 
Ongoing programs, like GLIMPS, seek to refine their role, while the telescope's observations challenge expectations in the study of dark matter and supermassive black hole pairs. James Webb's revelations propel us further into the cosmic unknown, making it a milestone in cosmic discovery.